what's up my baby daddies and welcome back to my channel told you they can't get enough of me got another fashion overhaul take a look wow magnificent we're gonna jump right into it i don't got no announcements i've been pretty regular on the channel recently so i don't really got no new news I'm just about to show you what I got from Fatia Nova. Well, I'm gonna start with the accessories. I got the accessories lined up right here. Uh, my camera was recently broken, so I'm using Chris's camera, and I'm trying to understand it. It's a little different. The first piece I'm gonna show you guys are these heart earrings. They just look like this. Pretty dope, right? Yeah, I thought they were pretty cute, too. I feel like these would be really cute for my mom, so that's actually who I got them for. But I'm gonna show you guys anyways. How freaking cute are those? I feel like I know how to pick things, you know what I'm saying? And excuse my frontal, I don't be wanting to lay my frontals and stuff. I almost was gonna come on here without even trying to lay it. So if you notice a little bit of the frontal lifting or something, it's cause I didn't really secure it. I did it the easy way. I'm the type of person you send me to your site, I'm gonna pick all the best stuff every single time. I be proud of myself. Let me give myself my accolades. The next set of earrings I got are these beautiful like Beauty and the Beast like upside down rose earrings. And y'all already know I'm Royale Rose. I have a website called Royale Rose where I sell clothing. And so it's only fitting to get an earring that resembles or kind of like implicates that I'm a rose. And this is pretty minimal. I like something that's super minimal. That's the type of person I am when it comes to my ears. And it's not like I can't get gaudy. Like I can, my ears aren't that sensitive. I could really wear whatever I want on them as long as I'm not wearing it for a long time. Ain't those the cutest little things though? Be honest. I got this gold shell necklace, which is super cute on one side of it where it's like kind of detailed and stuff. But on the back of it, it's not as detailed. Can you see that? So on that side, it's like not that detailed, but when you flip it over, it has like the ridges and stuff and it's really detailed. But when you try to put it on your neck, it always falls on the non-detailed side. Like I don't understand. I tried it several times. I was like, yo, what's up with that? So I got it to stay on the detailed side. There you go. Where the seashells are actually seashells. You see it now? It's cute. So you see how this looks with this? Wow, don't do me like that. Gold is always gonna be my jewelry of choice. Let me not say always though, because I do be switching it up every now and then. I get some silver every now and then, if the necklace is cute enough. Next necklace I got is this double necklace. It's like a set of two, super cute. The bottom one has like a gold shell and then the top one has like a real shell. Oh, you can't even see it. I don't know why I'm on the seashell vibe, but maybe because I miss California. Look how dainty and pretty and cute. Like if you're wearing a shirt that kind of goes low or a v-neck or something like that, then I feel like this would be really nice for that. I also really love when necklaces have like those bubbles on the chain. I don't know if you can see the bubbles, but I love that on a chain. It just gives a perfect amount of like extra detail to let people know that you're serious about what you're fucking doing. The next piece I got was this chain and it's a three piece chain, but it's all one. It's hooked by one. It gives me the vibes of like old school jewelry. It really gives me old school gold, like finesse gold. Like it's just popping. Oh, I always hide it in there. Just the links on it and then the fact that there's like a little bit of like bumpiness. I don't even know what to call this. I'm not a connoisseur, but you see how it has like a little texture there on all of them actually. I thought that was a really good touch. People might mistake it and think it's real. I'm gonna let them think that shit. <laughs> Depending on what you wear this with, it's gonna stand out, you know what I mean? But also it can kind of just like blend into the background because it's pretty dainty. So it's a little gaudy, but not that gaudy. It can be gaudier. Next I'm gonna show you these glasses that I got. I got three pairs of sunglasses. These ones aren't really even sunglasses. They're just like finesse glasses. Like, I would just want people to think that I'm cool. I really ain't shading myself from shit. Ooh. Is it me or are these fly? Yeah, That's another thing I don't like about frontals. How do y'all wear sunglasses? <laughs> oh, maybe because my ear is not supposed to be glued inside the frontal. But hey, I don't know how this shit goes. Take me back to the future. This is some real cool shit. Like, you have to be cool to rock these. I need to work on my cool so that I can go out and people won't make fun of me. Like, oh my God, look at that girl in them glasses. They have to be like, who is she? She must be famous. 
Uh, it has like a rainbow kind of tint to the lenses and then the details are all silver and white. So that's different. You don't see a lot of that. But I'm gonna be wearing a lot of white this summer so I'm definitely gonna rock the hell out of these. <laughs> the next pair I got are these and also they're stunning shades but they're not really shady. These ones are just like, I'm pretty and I don't feel like putting my makeup on but I don't want you to see my eyes, but I still have good eyes, so you can look at them, but I just kinda wanna make a statement and be like, hey, I don't want you to see my eyes because I didn't do my makeup, but I'm still cute. <laughs> and that's what these glasses are giving me. I love these glasses. Very, uh, the sun is out today. <laughs> Very, um, oh, you caught me staring. I know, I know. And then I'll pretend like I thought that they were shady and that you weren't gonna see me. But I wanted you to see me. What's up, baby boy, you wanna buy me a drink? <laughs> these glasses are giving me all summer 19 okay and the last pair of shades are these blue ones and they are one two three four octagons so I guess math does come in handy geometry I'm gonna just step back in these ones because so you can see how it is when I'm coming in these shades these are probably my favorite. These are my favorite ones and that's why I saved them for last. They're just so cute. The colors, everything. I know I'm gonna ruin this part of it, but I'm gonna try my hardest not to because these type of glasses always ruin really fast. Like they scratch on anything. They could scratch on cotton. That's how delicate they are. I'm gonna try not to ruin them for at least one month through the summer, but I know I'm gonna damage them. I know I'm not, I know it's not gonna work out that good. The day I wear it, I'm gonna ruin it. I already know about that, but we're gonna move on to the next piece. The next piece I got is for the day parties. Las Vegas is known for their day parties. As a matter of fact, I wanna say daylight opens tomorrow, which is March 22nd. Rick Ross is gonna be there. So at the day parties, you need to be cute. You need to carry a purse. You need to have all your stuff secure, but you still need to be cute, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I got this. Like, hey, I'm a mermaid. I came to the pool party with my shell, cause that's where I keep my money and my sunglasses and my phone. So, you know, you have to just let them know. And if you're on your period, your tampons. It has a pretty long strap, because remember, I'm five foot ten. And I hate persons that be stopping up here. It's like, what's up with that? <laughs> Give me a little arm room, a little elbow space. And then the, you done? And then the last accessory that I got is this pink purse. It has tassels on it. It's super cute. It has gold detailing. It has kind of like a woven effect going on at the front. The inside of it is really like big for what it looks like. Like it looks like you can fit a lot of stuff in there and it has a little zip there as well. And then as you can see, like the little um, animal print insides, which are super duper, duper cute. When I'm telling you guys, I'm about to be styling and profiling all summer long. It's gonna be a hot fucking mess and you guys are gonna get sick of me and I'm gonna be like, oh well. Oh well. As a matter of fact, you better follow me on Instagram because you are gonna miss it. And then you're gonna wish you was there from the beginning, but you wasn't, so follow me on Instagram. Next piece is this piece that I have on, and unfortunately I got it in two different colors because it was so cute on the site, and the girl on the site was wearing it with heels, so I was like, she wearing it with heels, it's gonna touch the floor on me, you know? Yeah, it touches the floor, but this thing right here is irritating me. These two things need to be separated, because first of all, this shirt, keeps coming up. On top of that, I don't think I would need these long sleeves. So I feel like the long sleeve shirt will be cute with something else, like with some high-waisted jeans or something. Let me see if I can find some scissors and cut this off because I need them to be separate. I went ahead and snipped one part of it already. I'm gonna go ahead and snip the other side in case you guys decide to get this because I feel like the shirt and the bottoms will be cute by themselves. Be careful to make sure you get just the thread by making sure you tug on this piece as you're cutting because if you don't then you won't just get the string so as you can see there's no hole here it's it can be separated this is intact too separate them that's my advice for sure i got this in a 1x and it was 39.99 now i'm gonna try on the next piece so here's the next piece and all i gotta say is summer is coming up and this is how you're supposed to wear the outfit you're not supposed to wear it with that long sleeve turtleneck you're supposed to wear it with your bathing suit and this bathing suit came from Fashion Nova as well. Ooh! Lime green is in season right now and it looks so good on our skin. So you better get you one before it's too late. Don't be acá stupid. Now this is an outfit right here. Yes, yes, let's walk to the beach party. Yes. 
In Las Vegas, like, girls will walk around the strip in their bathing suits, like, just straight plain bathing suits. And I'm not just so comfortable doing that. <laughs> I like the fact that I can use this as a cover-up. That was the main reason why I got it. I got the bathing suit in the extra large and it was $32.99. It does feel a little small, especially on the bottoms. I think it does fit true to size. If you're my size, get a 1X, not an extra large, because then you'll feel more comfortable in your butt. It's really tight down there. Really tight down there. So here is another cover-up. The girl on the website wore it like it was a t-shirt or you could wear it with like something black underneath or something like that but as you can see it's kind of like a cover up. It looks like a cover up to me so I would wear it like this. It's super cute. It's like crocheted or knit whatever you want to call it. This has to be like hand crocheted like I don't know if a machine can do this. It has like a little like V right here that gives you like a little silhouette that I never knew even existed or made you look better, but it definitely makes me look cuter, I think. I love how it kind of like, oh, I got a V cut, even though I don't got a V cut. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like an illusion. Then the back of it is the same. It looks just like that. Knit the whole way. Bathing suit. If you're a black girl, you don't have anything that's lime green. I'm gonna tell you this one more time. You better get some now because that's what it's gonna be like in the summertime. Trust me. Trust me. That's the color this year. You gonna feel left out. You gonna have to hop on board next year. So next are these jeans. These are called the Not Your Mama's Distressed Boyfriend jeans. <laughs> I didn't expect them to fit me the way that they do fit me, but I'm actually kind of flattered that they do. They don't have a lot of stretch to it. Twerk test. Okay, I can squat. I don't think there's any twerking going on. This is like really stiff, like denim material. So I kind of thought that they were gonna make them oversized so that they could fit us a little bit oversized. But they're made to fit you snug. So there's such a small amount of stretch, like good luck, okay? <laughs> I love the way that they fit. I just wasn't expecting it, you know what I mean? But I like them a lot. The back just looks like this, like a regular jean. I don't know if it makes my butt look good. You guys tell me. Does it make my butt look good in these jeans? Or does it squish it? Surprisingly enough, I think it does make my butt look good for them to be such tight pants. So yeah, recommend for show. They're super cute and comfortable. They have a little distressing right here at the knee and then like random distressing around the knee. They unroll to a very unflattering length. <laughs> so keep them rolled. Yeah, go back up, buddy. Go back up, buddy. Go back up to where you was, buddy. We like you right there, buddy. I'm already seeing outfits with these jeans, so. <laughs> the top that I'm wearing is also from Fashion Nova, but it's not from this haul, so I don't know the price or the name. But yeah, this is also Fashion Nova. <laughs> these pants, they were $49.99, and I got them in a 1X. These ones that I have on now, they were $29.99, and I got them in a 1X as well. You can pull them up super high-waisted. You might have to, throughout the night, do these. You know how you do that. So I went ahead and put on these Payless shoes that I got today um, for 20 bucks <laughs> with this outfit because I wanted to just kind of give you guys an idea. Ooh, look he just matched too, huh? Oh, we pinked out, we pinked out. And some of the pieces that I have on now are not from Fashion Nova, so that's the reason why. I just kind of try and try on their stuff and let you guys see how it fits and stuff like that. These pants have like a little detailing right here where you have to tie the string in. You just tie it up and it gives you like this little corset look on the front. It's really cute. The material is super stretchy. Obviously twerk test approved. These are actually club pants. These are the type of pants you can wear to the club and you can wear whatever you want with it. You know what I mean? These pants are an asset. These are a must get. And they're only $29.99. You have to get these pants. They need to be part of your wardrobe. You could dress them up and you could dress them down. What's up? Look at them with the bathing suit top. So I got these pants in a size 16. I don't know how much they were. They're giving me the feel of those urban outfitter pants, motorcycle pants that were really tight and stretchy. That's the vibe it's giving me, except for they're not long enough at the legs. And they have kind of that little stupid mouth. Why is your mouth open like that? Close your mouth. I hate pants with stupid mouths, big mouths. Yeah, when you just roll it up once, it gives it a capri look if you're five foot ten like me, but it's still cute, I like it. They sit up nicely on your waist. They're not all the way high-waisted, but they're super cute. They're all black and really stretchy. It's really stretchy, girl. Shoot, let me show you. Go to the gym in these jeans. Shoot, get your stretch on. Get your stretch on. Get your stretch on. Oh. <laughs> you guys just saw? Real stretchy, they're for Jill. 
Here's what the back looks like. I got these pants in a size extra large and they were $22.99. And as you can see, I just put them on with my black booties. I have on my bathing suit top. If you didn't want to wear it like this, you want to just put on some sandals. And you off to the beach party, you know what I'm saying? With your sandals and your little jogger pants. They have pockets in it. You can put your little thingy things in there. Also, you can get real ratchet. That's why I like pants like this. So I can get ratchet at the club. And if you're the more modest type, throw your shirt back on. And you be good to go. Tell me that thank you. These pants are just so chill and I really like them. They're called the half fun joggers and that makes sense because I would definitely be having fun in these joggers. Ooh! Ooh, jiggle it. Ooh. Ooh. Next, please, Amara, we're tired of you. So. This is the next piece I got. It's called the One Hot Tamale Cutout Mini Dress. It's very flexible, very like spandexy. It's like those workout shorts that they used to use in the 80s, like when they be doing all those stupid workouts, when they're like, yeah, shake it. <laughs> that's the material that this is. And I think you could probably tell on camera that that's the type of material it is. It has this stupid, I think I'm wearing it wrong. I have to be wearing it wrong. Cause what was that? <gasps> That's cute. Oh my god. That changed everything. <laughs> oh, what do you do to look so good? I just drink water. <laughs> Thanks. I almost messed everything up. Look at this. This is cute. Oh, this is cute. You might get tired of the little booty jiggling. I don't care. I always gotta test my shit. And that's how you test it. It's part of my religion, so don't discriminate. I'm gonna call the police on you, because that's against the law. <laughs> pose, and pose, and pose. Every time someone had on purple, it didn't matter if they're fat, skinny, tall, whatever. The kids will make fun of them and call them Barney. So growing up, I never really liked wearing purple. But look at how beautiful this looks on my complexion. Look at this. I've been missing out, obviously. We gotta make a change. I'm about to waste all my time inside this dress, so I'm gonna go ahead and try on the next one. Well, the last dress was $29.99 and I got it in a 1X. I got this dress in a 1X and it was $34.99. This just gives me Fashion Nova. This just screams like, you got that from Fashion Nova. It has like this scaly detailing on the material that's kind of like, you could see as if it was a snake print. It also has other type of animal prints on it too. Or maybe it's like those snakes that their colors are like different animal prints. Like, you know, I don't know how to explain it, girl. I don't know nothing about animals. You gotta go talk to the real Tarzan about that, okay? It's just a lot of animal print going on here. It just looks like, oh, I'm from the wild and I'm about to, I'm about to bounce. Ooh, girl. This is too much for me. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm an Nova babe. <laughs> I think y'all need to hype me up about this. If you like it, this one in particular, comment down below. The snake print one because I'm really stuck on the crossroads with this. I like it, but then I don't. I don't know if it's the pattern that's making me like, I don't know. The way it fit me is making me like it and then the pattern is like throwing me off. I'm not sure, but something about it. There's something about it that I like. Then there's something about it that makes me want to take it off. I got cramps. Oh, I got cramps. I'm bloated too, by the way, y'all. Three months. Three months bloated. Who cute baby mama? Who's cute ass baby mama is that? I'm four. I'm four months. Yeah, I'm doing October. <laughs> I got on this yellow leotard or jumpsuit, whatever you want to call it. I had a black one, one that was all black. I had it for a really long time. I used to rock the hell out of it, girl. I wore it here and there. I dressed it up at the club. I dressed it down at the grocery store. I went to go wash my clothes in it. I went to the park in it, everything. In France, it saved my life, okay? Because I had to layer up so much that that leotard saved my life so many times. So. Recently, a big old hole just appeared out of nowhere, probably from all the wear and tear, right in the middle of my thigh, so I had to lay it down to rest. I'm on the hunt for something like it, something similar. It's cute, but it's not as thick as the one I had, so it's not as sturdy, you know what I mean? I would have to probably be pulling it up and like trying to make sure it stays tight where it needs to be, whereas that one, it stayed tight all night. It knew where it was supposed to be, and it stayed there. 
So I'm on the hunt for the perfect jumpsuit similar to this. I want to get them in all different colors, so I want to get a black one for sure, but I like the yellow one too. And it's still cute, obviously, and I'm still going to rock it, but you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to be on the hunt. As a matter of fact, let me try on the next piece. This is the Curse for Miles jumpsuit. I just noticed as I was trying to put this one on that I had two leotards similar to this. I have the yellow one that I just tried on in black, so I didn't feel like I needed to try that one on too. It's the same jumpsuit, but in black, and I didn't know I got two of them. This one is a little different. This one has a different material to it. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, as you can see. This one is way more dressy. Like, you can't really dress this one down. Like, trying to dress it down might be a little bit hard for you, unless you're a pro like me. It's nice and stretchy, obviously. Y'all already know how this go. It's Fashion Nova. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. If you buy it now, it's gonna fit you. If you get a BBL, it's still gonna fit you. Oh, my phone is all up in the shit. This video is probably a little janky because I don't really understand how everything's working. This is not my camera, but my phone was definitely in that last frame, sorry. Anyways, this is cute, right? Good. I'm gonna try on the next one. This one was in a 1X and it was $29.99. This next piece, this next piece I got in a 1X, it was $39.99. It's such a pretty red dress. It goes down to the perfect length on me but it was a little weird like look at how like it looks like I don't understand there's no tie on this or anything but I did find that there are two ties right here so the only thing I could imagine is that you would have to tie the actual dress like this to the strings over here to get like a, a wrap dress type feel like this and then you would have to pull it to the front there's like a high low part right here and then you just make sure that that part is on the sides of your body and then that's what it should look like Ooh! I mean it's a little different like it's gonna take some getting used to but it's really cute you can't lie and say it's not cute it needs to be ironed it has these beautiful like ribbon cuffs like it looks like ribbons around your around your wrist so I like that as well and then it has collars they have colors. You know, it's different, but I definitely like it. I like it a lot. This is like a first date night type of dress, like, you know? There's like a tie inside right here where you tie the first one, and then the second one you tie it with the dress. That's so innovative. Well, the next dress I got is this dress. It's like a two-tone, kind of like paisley. I don't know what type of print this is. It's beautiful. I love the two-tone. I love that it's yellow. That's my favorite color. And it's called I'm Feeling Myself. It was $34.99. I got it in a 1X. It's just a tube dress. What's that? What's that? Now, I like this dress a lot. It's super cute. I went ahead and put on some little black minimalist sandals to pair with it. I think that'll be the easiest thing to try and pair with this because it's a lot going on. What y'all think? It's cute, right? I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my... Feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my feeling my Well here I have on the back to laces two mini dress and this is what the back looks like. This is the best part of the dress as you can see. Hold back out. You can't wear a bra with this, but you know me, I don't care. I don't care. It's nice and stretchy. It has a back out. You can tighten it if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend tightening it. Cause then you won't be able to see all that pretty back you got. <laughs> Look at my back. Fuck it. It's just a regular tube dress in the front and a cute design at the back. So I like this one. $29.99. I got it in a 1X. If you're looking for an LBD, this is the queen. This is the one. This the one. This is the one. Here is the last piece in this dress. This dress. Do you see the twinkles? Oh my goodness. This ain't no app effect, y'all. This is real life. It's really sparkling like that. I went ahead and put on some little boy shorts underneath because I see that it's kind of see-through. So I put on a little something so y'all can't see through. You know what I'm saying? This dress is like, yes, you walking in, all the lights in the clubs is flashing, and you flashing, girl, you just, woo, what's up? I'm here, we'll stay. Move out the section because I want to sit down. Oh, you said this is your section? Uh, I think not. Excuse me. Let me have a seat. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Girl, Cleopatra, if she was born in 1992. Ugh. So pretty much it's just like a beige dress. If this was on like a girl that was this skin complexion, it would look crazy because it would just look like there's sparkles on her body. But it's still look cute on me. It has like little rhinestones on it. Um, these aren't even really rhinestones, they're like, I don't know, it's popping. I don't even know how to explain it, but it doesn't even feel like these are gonna come out. Oh, they're glued. I was like, let me see if they're stitched or glued. They're definitely glued, so be careful with washing. Try and hand wash. This was $39.99 and I got it in a 1X. So you know for when you buy. All right, you guys, thank you for watching my Tryana haul. Cheers to another successful one. Clink, pretend it's vodka. Drink your vodka. Thank you Fashion Nova for sending me these clothes. I really enjoyed the collaboration. All the links where you can find these pieces are gonna be down below. If you guys decide to buy stuff from Fashion Nova, I want them to know that I'm the one who sent you because they don't think that I'm sending people over. You know what I'm saying? So I want you guys to click that interaction link and let them know that my baby daddies make noise. That's if you're gonna buy something. If you're not gonna buy something, you don't have to click any links. Just leave me emojis down below. Leave a period. Remember, like I said, make sure you just interact with me. Hit that thumbs up button. Don't act like you forgot. You know what I'm saying? Let me know that you love me so I can say I love you back. Let me get familiar with your display picture, girl. I wanna be like, oh yeah, that's my bitch. She always coming on my shit. I wanna get used to you, okay? This relationship goes to waste. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Make sure you go out and do wonderful things in the world and make sure no drama comes from anybody but me because I'm your baby mama. I love you. Now give me a kiss. Don't give me style, don't give me grace. Don't put a smile on my face. Don't put a smile on my face. Don't give me style, don't give me grace. Don't put a smile on my face. Don't put a smile on my face. Don't put a smile on my face. Sun, gon' make me shine like the sun. Sometimes I feel like I'm the one. Sometimes I feel like it I'm ain't the one. my fault.